Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 60 in the Intermediate Algebra Series. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the x and y intercepts of a line. So the line we're going to be working with today is going to be represented by the equation y is equal to 2x minus 4. So this is an equation of a line, and we're going to find its x and y intercept. So basically the x-intercept of this line is going to be the position on the x-axis that our line crosses the x-axis. So it's basically going to be a point on the x-axis where our line basically crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is going to be a point on the y-axis where our line crosses the y-axis. So in order to find the x-intercept of our line, we're going to set y equal to 0, and then we're going to solve for x. To find the y-intercept of our line, we're going to set x equal to 0, and then solve for y. So let's go ahead and find the x-intercept of our line here. So to find the x-intercept, we're going to set y equal to 0. So we're going to rewrite this equation here, but instead of y, we're going to write 0. So now we have 0 is equal to 2x minus 4. So we set y equal to 0, and now we're just going to solve for x. So what we want to do next is we want to add 4 to the left and right hand side so that we can get rid of this term. So 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, and then a negative 4 plus a positive 4 equals 0, so we're simply left with the 2x over here. So now we have 4 is equal to 2 times x. Well, if we divide the left and right hand side by 2, we can get x by itself on the right hand side. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2x two divided by 2 is equal to x. So this is the x component of our x-intercept. And we know that our y component is equal to 0. So our x-intercept, let's go ahead and write this down, x intercept is basically going to be an ordered pair and remember an ordered pair has just an x component and a y component and an ordered pair makes up a point in the xy coordinate system so the x intercept is going to be the point represented by the x component of 2 and a y component of 0 so this is the x intercept of our line right here. So let's go ahead and just plot this really quick. So on the x-axis, when y is equal to 0, that's basically the x-axis. So that's our x component is somewhere along the x-axis. That's y is equal to 0. And then x basically is equal to 2. So our x component is 2. So the point 2, 0 is right here. So that is the x-intercept of this line. So let's go ahead and find the y-intercept of our line now. So basically, to find the y-intercept, we're basically just going to do the same kind of process. We're going to be looking at y is equal to 2x minus 4. Once again, I'll just kind of rewrite it here and just kind of work side by side. So this time, we're going to find the y-intercept. So we're going to set x equal to 0. So we're just going to rewrite this. y is equal to 2 times x, but x is going to be 0. So 2 times 0 minus 4. And anything times 0 is just simply 0. So y is equal to 0 minus 4. Or y is equal to simply negative 4, since 0 minus 4 is just going to give you minus 4. So this is going to be the y component of the y-intercept. And we know the x component of the y-intercept is 0. So for our y-intercept, we can uh, write that as the point represented by the x component of 0 and the y component of negative 4. So whenever we have an x component of 0, we know that we're somewhere on the y-axis. And so then we just simply look at the y component to see where on the y-axis we are. So we're at negative 4 on the y-axis, so starting at 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. That would be our y-intercept. 
and it's represented by the point 0, negative 4. So we could actually just kind of do a rough sketch of this line now just by connecting our x and y intercepts here. So connecting these two dots gives us a rough sketch of what the line looks like. So this is the line y is equal to 2x minus 4. So anyway, that was an introduction to finding the x and y intercept of a line. So thank you guys for watching. I'll probably go ahead and do another example of this in uh, the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.